A Merry Christmas, Bob. Merry Christmas, sir. Ooh. It's quite the weather, eh? Don't you recall what we've had a winter so cold? Uh, not since I was a child. Even the river's frozen over this year. Has it not? Well, terrific news. <laughs> You're right there. That's <laughs> it. Sorry, sir. And a Merry Christmas to you, Uncle. God save you. Ah, humbug. Christmas, uh, humbug, Uncle. But you don't mean that, I'm sure. I do. Merry Christmas. What right have you to be merry? What reason have you to be merry? You're poor enough. Oh, come then. What right have you to be dismal? What reason have you to be morose? You're rich enough. <laughs> bah, humbug. Don't be cross, Uncle. Well, what else can I be when I live in such a world of fools as this? Merry Christmas. Out upon Merry Christmas. Well, tell me what's Christmas time to you, but a time for paying bills without money. A time for finding yourself a year older. It's not an hour richer. A time for balancing your books. Ah, if I could work my will, every idiot who goes about with Merry Christmas on his lips should be boiled with his own pudding and then buried with a stick of holly through his heart. He should. Uncle, nephew. Keep Christmas in your own way. Let me keep it in mine. Keep it. But you don't keep it. Let me leave it alone, then. Much good may it do you. Much good has it ever done you. Well, there are many things from which I might have derived good. By which I have not profited, I dare say. Christmas among the rest. No, but I am sure that I have always thought of Christmas time as a good time. It's a kind, a forgiving, a charitable, a pleasant time. It's the only time I know of in the long calendar of the year when men and women seem by one consent to open their shut up hearts freely and to think of people below them as if they really were fellow passengers to the grave. And therefore, uncle, though it has never put a, a scrap of gold or silver in my pocket, I believe it has done me good. And it will do me good. And I say, God bless! Oh, hear, hear! <laughs> Let me hear another sound from you, and you'll keep your Christmas by losing your situation. Oh, oh, oh you're quite a powerful speaker, sir. I wonder why you don't go into Parliament. Don't be angry, Uncle. Come, dine with us tomorrow. No! But why? Why? Why did you get married? Because I fell in love. Because you fell in love. Good afternoon. Uncle! You never came to see me before I got married, so why give us a reason for not coming now? Good afternoon. I want nothing from you. I ask nothing of you. Why can we not be friendly to each other? Friendly? Good afternoon. I am sorry to find you so resolute. We have never had any quarrel to which I have knowledge of. If I have done something to offend you, please let me hear it. I only wish for my family to be together at Christmas. Surely you must understand that. You should be with us. Not alone. Good afternoon. A Merry Christmas. Good Sunday. afternoon. And a Happy Good New Year. Good afternoon. A Merry Christmas, Bob. A Merry Christmas to you, oh, sir. Oh, very good. Yes, and look there. You're shaking hands with a man who makes 15 shillings a week and has a wife and family to provide for, talking about a Merry Christmas. Stupid men are everywhere. I'll retire to Bedlam. 